There you go. Okay. Hi guys, this is Dana. I'm mostly behind the scenes. But I do make soap too. Um, I thought I'd show you two rows that I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut them differently. thought I'd show you the way that they look. They have a nice swirl on top. Both of them do. These are a baby's powder scent. And of course, being pink, they're for girls. The first one I'm going to cut is going to be crinkle cut. Since I really like the way that Tracy crinkle cut it the other day. Let's see. Let's see about how many we got here. So. A little bit bigger, I think. That slice is really nice. I actually let this dry out for a couple days. Yep, perfect size. Try to get a steady hand going here. Yep, same size. liking so much the way that it's chipping here at the bottom but with the crinkle cut there's not much I can do with that so what I'm gonna try to do I think um, yeah. on this next loaf I think that we will try to if I have to cut it on the side Let's see if we can get rid of that it wants to, and sometimes that happens when you let them dry out. Something to worry about the soap is still incredible, just what you expect from us. I'm getting really nice cuts here, everything is at least five ounces and over. Now there is some shrinkage, as we told everybody, but we will not sell a bar of soap that's under four ounces. So we do weigh our soaps before we wrap them and send them out to you. The larger soaps, some, I mean, you know, sometimes we get cuts that are seven ounces. Yeah. First people that order, the first people that get them. Yep. Very nice. Got a lot better cutter than I am. Yep. None of them hit six yet, so all the way to that five five ounce range. This one's gonna be a little bit big. I can feel it. Yeah, exactly six ounces. Now we haven't shown it on our website yet. But we are going to start selling um, sample packs. And in the sample packs, you'll get about um, between six and seven ounces worth of soap. So they're going to they're gonna be about, probably about six bucks. But you will end up, they're going to be all different scents, of course. But all added together, you're going to get at least that amount. Now, of course, if you order a 25 order or more, that's actually included free. And I don't know if any of you have been to our site, which is calmingstormstudios.com, storm with single storm. So it's C A L M S T O R M s-t-u-d-i-o-s dot com just in case there's any confusion about that hmm, very good I think this one might be a bit small but that's the end piece yeah four and seven eight so this is going to be a sample 
So now that we got that taken care of, and I've made one heck of a mess. I was going to say hellacious, but don't want to get bleep, bleep, bleep. So let's see if I can do this better than Tracy. Because last time we had Tracy making her cascade effect in it. We had some issues with it falling off the table. But this is the little girl's baby scent. Um, <laughs> and this is actually kind of a, a mess up because I have a baby shower to go to tomorrow and the baby is not due until February. It's my, um, my cousin's baby. This will actually be my mother's first great grandchild. And it's a boy, so I had put some blue mica, and mica doesn't do well so so much in uh, cold process, as I've found anyways. So the blue didn't even show up, so I just decided to do a little bit of pink on top, and we're going to try the blue today, now that I've actually got some blue pigment in. So for this one, I'm just going to go back to our regular knife and see how we do. And I'm hoping not to get, yeah, that splinter. I'm not liking that. See? Yeah. going to have the same old problem here. Let me see if I can cut that from the side. Actually, let me get rid of that. Maybe some nice even pressure would be good. No, I'm not liking that. Not, not at all. Try the serrated one. It seems to do a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go back to the, uh, the crinkle cut one because that one seemed to just go easy peasy. I wonder why that is. I guess that's something we're just going to have to check out. So, I did do a few things different with this recipe than I usually do, which is not going to happen today with my new batch. I don't know what the weather's like where you guys are. Guess what it's doing here in Washington? Raining. <gasps> I know, isn't it a shock? So it's gonna, probably gonna rain for the next eight months or so probably. Or we might get lucky, we might get some snow instead of rain. But I still want to get out there and get some buckets put some screens on top to make sure I don't get any kind of debris in it and I would really like to see get some rainwater liquid sunshine liquid sunshine as we call it here here in Washington boil it up so it's sterile and I want to see if that actually makes a difference I mean it's I don't know but it would be made with liquid sunshine could I put that on the ingredient label or that would just have to still be water? Well, I guess you could. You put distilled water, right? Well, I put that as water or aqua. Yeah, all our water is distilled. There's, we don't use spring water, we don't use our tap water. We don't use anything but distilled water and I am. The soap is great and it's going to be a really nice hard bar, but I am not very happy with the way it cuts. So this one, I actually added um, some bran oil into it. And I think that bran oil will not be in my next batch. So anyway, guys, 
I appreciate everybody coming. It was nice to meet you all, finally. And we will see you again for our next video. Bye Hopefully bye. something new. Bye, guys.